Well, in this video, we're going to look at exploring openings in a database using the aptly titled Openings Explorer. So, uh, what I've done so far, I've opened the Top Games database and done a quick search for Nigel Short, one of the top British players of all time. And I'm just looking at the first game that's come up on that list, a game from 1995 against Joel Lottier of France. So if we uh, start, uh, we've got the Openings Explorer open, uh, open here. If we start going through the game, you can see the Open Explorer display changes each time we click on a move because it's giving you all the available moves in that position, all the playable moves and some statistical information about them. And you can see uh, we don't have to go very far. We're already down to uh, what even just we're not even at the third move yet. We've played two moves. Uh, both players have played two moves. And you can see clearly there's two top choices for moves in this position: g3 and knight f3. Uh, this is according to games in our local openings book that comes free with Hyarx Opening uh, Hyarx Chess Explorer. But there's a few different places that we can get that information from. Um, we can look at different sources of information such as the database itself, so that Top Games database. You can see uh, just from that database this position was only achieved uh, 11 times, again 6 times G3 and 5 times Knight F3 were played. Actually G3 was played in this game as well. Uh, you can also look at it via the filter, so I, I've searched for games with Nigel Short, you'll see it'll change slightly, so if I click on filter these are games in the database, the, or games that are in this filter, which are filtered obviously by Nigel Short in the database. So these are four games here. You can see three where G3 was played and one where Knight F3. Games that appear in the database that include Nigel Short. So it doesn't necessarily say whether he's playing white or black, but these are games that he's been involved in. So if we go back to database, we'll see there's more uh, games as well. And then back to our openings book. A whole host of games uh, good enough to get some good statistical information from. One of the really exciting features of Hearts Chess Explorer is um, there's a few extra opening books, online books, that come with Hyarx. Depending on which version you've bought, if you bought the single version, uh, single processor version of Hyarx that came with Hearts Chess Explorer, you'll get the opening book, the GM opening book. Or if you get the deep version, you'll get the GM Plus book. So let's look at that GM Plus book now. And you can see we've got even more uh, games available than we do in our local openings book. Uh, G3 was played 259, Knight F3 played 153 times. In the GM Plus book, it's both of those being played more. So even more statistically significant than the local openings book, some excellent information from this GM book or the GM Plus book that you get free with Hyarx Chess Explorer. Um, as I say, if we go back to our database of games, um, you can view by filter or by database. But a nice little feature is uh, if you're just looking at one of those, so all the games in the database, as we said, there's 11 here, uh, 6 with G3 was played, 5 when Knight F3 was played. If we want to see those games, simply clicking Show Games will bring up those games in our Game Explorer. So if I just expand that, see there's the 11 games that were in the database where this position was reached, and uh, we can play through those games and see what happened after each move. So really nice features, um, easy to do opening preparation in Hyarx Chess Explorer.